Welcome to the spoken tutorial on internal relay and output pin. In this tutorial, we will learn about types of sources available for contacts or coils, that is, internal relay and output pin. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of normal contact and coil, negated contact and coil. If not, Please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. First, we will understand the working of an internal relay. Internal relay can be thought of as a variable inside a PLC memory bit. It does not affect the external IOs of the PLC. Let us open LD Micro. Insert a contact from instructions. Then to the right of it, insert a coil as shown. Rename the contact as switch. Double click on the coil. In the source column, select internal relay. Then, rename it as Relay. Click the OK button. We can see that R is prefixed instead of Y in the name which indicates Relay. Let us add a new rung after the current rung. Insert a contact and a coil in the newly added rung as shown. Double click on the contact. In the source column, select internal relay. Then, rename it as relay. Click the OK button. In the IO list, we can observe there is only one R relay. Both contact and coil are represented by the same internal relay. Now, rename the coil as LED as shown. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. Initially, the state of X switch, Y LED and R relay are 0. Change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe that the state of Y LED and R relay have changed to 1. Now, double click on R relay. We can notice that we are unable to change the state of R relay. This is because the internal relay operates in the internal logic of the PLC. It does not operate on the IO pins directly. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR Atmega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign PC0 pin to X switch and PA0 to Y LED. Double click on R relay in the IO list. 
a dialog box opens. It says that can only assign pin number to input or output pins. Recall that internal relay presents the variable inside a PLC memory bit. Click on the OK button. Thus, working of this example is similar to the normal contact example. So, we will skip the hardware part. Save the file as internal relay.ld as shown. We will now learn about the source type output pin of the contact. Open a new file in LD Micro. Insert a contact and a coil as shown. Rename the contact as switch. Then rename the coil as LED1. Insert a rung below. Again, Insert a contact and a coil in the newly added rung. Double click on the contact. In the source column, select output pin. Then, rename it as LED1. Click the OK button. We can observe the name of the contact is prefixed by Y and not X. Double click on the coil. Check the negated box and rename it as LED2. Click the OK button. We will now check the working of this logic. Start real-time simulation as shown. Initially, the state of X switch and Y LED1 are 0 and Y LED2 is 1. Now, change the state of X switch to 1. We can observe that the state of the Y LED1 changes to 1 and Y LED2 to 0. That is, the output of Y LED1 is given as input to Y LED2. Turn off the simulation mode as shown. Let us compile the logic. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR 8 Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. We can observe that X switch has already been assigned pin PC0. Now, assign pin PA0 to Y LED1 and PA1 to Y LED2. Compile the logic as output pin dot hex as shown. Then, save the ladder diagram as output pin dot ld as shown. Now, we will see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing. Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the main board. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of main board. Beside the yellow LED of traffic light module, you will see a plus 5 volt pin. Connect this plus 5 volt pin to 5 volts of the main board. Connect EN pin to ground of the main board. Connect L pin to PA0 of the main board which represents Y LED1. Connect the RI pin to P0 
PA1 of the main board which represents Y LED2. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. Initially, the left green LED will be glowing. Recall that bottom LED connections should be given logic low for an LED to glow. Now, press the switch NO1. The right green LED starts glowing and the left one goes off at the same time. Thus, the output of the left green LED acts as input to the right green LED. Turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about different source types such as internal relay and output pin. As an assignment, draw a ladder logic to latch an LED. Hint The LED should turn on when a switch is pressed. It should stay on even after it is released. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRB, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team, signing off. Thanks for watching.